Okay, so I'm just going to quickly model for you um, the first process, the, fir the first time through this investigation. I'm going to suggest some extra bits you might need to go through. So as I said on the PowerPoint, I'm going to start with the number 593. I'm going to start by reversing those digits, so that's 395. And I'm going to take them away from each other. 5 take away 3, I can't do, so I borrow 1 from here. 13 take away 5 becomes 8. 8 take away 9, I can't do, so again I need to borrow. 18 take away 9 is 9, and 4 take away 3 is 1. Now next to that, I'm then going to take that number, I'm going to reverse the digits of that number, and I'm going to add. So 8 add 1 is 9, 9 add 9 is 8, 18, count with the 1, 1 add 8 is 9, add the 1 is 10. So I get the answer 1089. Okay? Now, that was the first time through, and I said to do at least three times before you write a conjecture. So I'm going to try another one, and I said that the first number must be bigger than the last number. It didn't say anything about the middle number, but it said the first must be bigger than the last. Okay? So, reverse the digits, take them away. Two take away nine, can't do, so I've got to borrow one from there. So it comes 12 take away nine is three. Six take away seven, I can't do, so I borrow one from here. I've got 16 take away 7 is 9, and then 8 take away 2 is 6. I then take that number, 693, and I reverse the digits to 396. I add them. I go, okay, so 3 add 6 is 9, 9 add 9 is 18, carry the 1, 6 add 3 is 9, add the actual one is 1089. Hang on a minute, I've got, I've got the same answer. Well, I always get the same answer. Maybe. Let's let's try something slightly different. So I've, I've had one where I've had um, the middle number being the biggest, one where I've had the middle number kind of being in the middle. One's if the middle number and the last number are the same, or the first number and the last middle number are the same. Let's try one of those, okay? 775. Seven, so I've got 577. Seven. Take them away. So borrow one from here. 15 take away 7 is 8. 6 take away 7 I can't do. So I bring the 6 in. 16 take away 7 is 9. 6 take away 5 is 1. And I get 1, 9, 8. And 8, 9, 1. I've got a minute. This is going to work out exactly the same as before, isn't it? That would be 9. That would be 8. And a 1, 9, 10. So that would be 10. 1089. Okay, so I've got 3 where I get the same answer each and every time. So I'm going to write a conjecture. So I'm going to say, if I start with a three digit number where first is bigger than the last okay that's me doing so a little bit of shorthand there then I will always get 1089 okay I am going to put some exclusions in here. So I'm thinking out loud here, and I could check these, but I'm going to put some exclusions. Exclusions. Okay. One, palindromes. So a palindrome is a number that's the same forwards and backwards. So e.g. 373, three, because um, the first digit's not bigger than the last digit. They're, they're the same. Okay. So they'll just cancel out. Okay, um, and I suppose that works for all the numbers being the same. Again, that would just cancel out massively. So there's there's my thing. Now, I'm just going to try one more example. One more example. And I'm going to do it where the numbers are going to be really quite close together to start with. Okay, so let's try something like 211 minus, and that'll be... 112. So let's take them away from each other. What do I get? 1 take away 2. I can't do, so I need to borrow one from here. So 11 take away 2 is 9. Can't do that. 0 take away 1. So 10 take away 1 is 9. And 1 take away 1 is 0. Now, hang on. So if I was to do that as 99, reverse it to get 99, 8, 1, 80, and that only gives me 198. Hmm. 
Ah, 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 right. But I've said it's 1089. Let's just check it again. But this time, I'm going to keep that zero in just to make sure. So 099. 990 and when I add them together 990 is 9 that's 18 carry the 1 0 add 9 add 1 is 10 I get my 1089 okay so I'm fairly happy my 1089 seems to work for all examples and I've checked it with numbers that are quite close together numbers that are quite far away numbers where the digits change around a little bit okay so now the next thing is I need to prove my conjecture always works, which means I'm going to use a little bit of algebra, okay? And this is really going to test whether I understand what the process of adding and taking away actually is. So, to start with, I don't know what my three digits are. I'm going to put them down as A, B, and C, okay? And I know that A has to be bigger than C, using my inequality signs there. And I'm going to work out to start with C. I'm going to reverse the digits, that'll be CBA, and I'm going to take away. Now, in order to help with the takeaway, I'm going to look at my note, my, my worked examples, to see where I had to borrow and carry. Now, because this last digit always ended up bigger, the bottom one always ended up bigger than the top one, because of the reversing, I've always had to borrow one the middle number and carry it over so i'm going to do that process here i'm going to i'm going to can't do a take away c i need to take one off b and i need to put it onto c now this is where a lot of people make a mistake when i'm putting that one onto c i'm not just adding a one in front i'm actually adding on 10 to that number c okay so here when i take it away i get c add 10 take away a now here I can't do B take away 1 minus B. If you look at all your number examples again, for this one, I've had to borrow from here. So I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to take one off here, and I'm going to add 10 to that one. Okay. Now, when I resolve this, this is going to look quite interesting. So I've got B take away B, which cancels out. They vanish. And I've got an add 10 take away a 1 which leaves you with add nine, that's just a nine in the middle. And if you look at all your examples that you did, you always ended up with the digit nine in the middle, and that's why, which is quite interesting, I think. And then here, we just literally left it as A minus C, A minus one, sorry, take away C, okay? So I'll take the answer of that one, I'm gonna rewrite it underneath, space it out, and then I'm going to reverse the digit, so, this one gets written first, then the 9 in the middle doesn't move, and then that one gets put over here. Okay, and I'm going to add these together. So when I add them, what we're looking for is, we're going to essentially be collecting like terms, a bit like we do in algebra. Well, it is algebra. So here, when I'm adding, I've got C, add minus C, which cancel out. Then I've got an A, I've got a minus A, add an A, they cancel out. And I've got an add 10, add a minus 1. And of course, we know that an add a minus 1 is the same as taking 1 off. So that just becomes 9. Now here, 9 add 9 is 18. So that's 8, carry the 1. Okay, so we've got another 1 here that we're going to add in. So we've got an A, add a minus A, so they cancel out. A, a minus C, add a C, they cancel out. A minus 1, add a 10, is add 9. But don't forget that extra 1 that we carried from over here. So that actually becomes a 10. So there you go. What we've done here is we've, as our answer now, is always 1089. It doesn't matter what letter I started with. It means that I would always get 1089, as long as A is bigger than C. Okay? And this algebraic proof just proves that, because there's no algebra in my answer. So as... No algebra in answer, okay. Um, I have proved, okay, I will always get 1089, okay. So, ways that you could extend this, what happens for two digit numbers? 
okay what happens for four digit numbers now sometimes you might get to a point where you don't always get the same answer you might need to play with that a little bit okay or five digit numbers okay and can you come up with a generalized rule so the idea that if I was to tell you I've got a seven digit number you'd be able to tell me how many answers they could possibly be and what those answers would be okay can you do that you might be able to come spot some really interesting patterns in the numbers you get as your solutions but well, i hope you enjoy it and i hope that was useful okay thank you bye